Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Derek from Tekken Road and in this video, I'll show you how to flash CM13.1 on your Loic Valley 2. So in order to flash this custom ROM, you need to have unlocked bootloader and TWRP recovery installed on your Loic Valley 2. So make sure that you have uh, that installed. So if you haven't already installed and unlocked bootloader, you can check my video on that. I will leave a card right here. and. Uh, if you are using the old Chinese TWRP recovery, you need to upgrade it to the latest official TWRP recovery, which is 3.0.2.0 if I am right. So I will all, don't worry, I will also show you how to do that too. So uh, first you need to download three files, the TW, latest TWRP image file, the ROM file and the gaps file. Download them and place them on your internal storage. And before proceeding, make sure that you take a complete backup of your device. Now power off your device and reboot into recovery mode by holding the volume up button and the power button together. And now in recovery mode, uh, as you can see we are using the old Chinese TWRP recovery and you cannot flash this ROM on this recovery so if you are having this, make sure that you upgrade it to the latest version. So in order to upgrade it, all you have to do is tap on install. And now select install images and now select the latest TWRP image file and now select the path as recovery and now select swipe to flash and now go back and select reboot and select recovery and as you can see now we have upgraded our TWRP recovery to the latest official version so now we can flash the ROM so first select wipe and select swipe to wipe and now select install and select the ROM file and now select swipe to flash and now select the gaps file and select swipe to flash and now select reboot system uh, so remember that the first boot into your new ROM is gonna take a lot of time so just sit back and relax and if you are coming from EUI 5.9.20s or, 9 or, or any unofficial UI ROM you need to change uh, do a little bit of changing with the uh, build prop I believe uh, what exactly you have to do uh, with the build prop in the description below you can use either build prop editor or any uh, file explorer with root access to do that uh, so just make sure that you check the description for that if you are coming from a UI 5.9.20s yes. so I'll be back once the ROM boots up and I'll set up everything I'll be back so now I have set up everything and I've been using this ROM for about a couple of hours in initial impressions the ROM is buttery smooth and uh, it, it feels so good to use uh, an USB based ROM over UI in the it's just fantastic and in terms of uh, crashes I had only one crash with which was with respect to Play Store when I added multiple Google accounts as soon as I finished adding a new Google account Play Store crashed but the Google account was intact just the Play Store app crashes I don't know why it does but but then it restarts uh, by its own so no issues on that and with respect to bugs currently VOLT and IA Blaster are not working and I guess it will be fixed in future updates so no worries on that too and overall this ROM is just fantastic it's the very first ROM uh, custom ROM for our Lotu and uh, it just brings out what a beast the Lotu has been on its own so uh, yeah that's it for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button for more videos hit the subscribe button and just like a week or uh, about a couple of days ago uh, before new year we reached thousand subscribers which is just fantastic and i would like to thank every single one of you uh, who made it possible so thank you guys for making it possible because without you it wouldn't be possible every single one of you who watch my video who shared my video commented on my video like my video dislike my video subscribe to my channel thank you for every one of you for making it 
happen and wish you a happy new year i'll see you in the next one see ya